Hey, it's Neville here. And today I want to talk to you about how to become a copywriter. Now, most people decide they want to become a copywriter because they have no education, no formal training, no real skills, and they think, hey, I just want to make a bunch of money sitting at my laptop or maybe working from a beach and I just type words in Word or I just type words in Google Docs and money comes to me. Yeah! Well, let's slow down because the reality is slightly different and you've got to work towards that. So how do we become a copywriter then? Well, I think a good exercise will be thinking, why do people hire copywriters in the first place? Now, think about the huge amount of content a lot of companies have to put out. A single insurance company will have to put out all this stuff. They'll have to put out ads on TV that need scripts. They'll have to put out ads on the internet, such as Facebook, such as Google AdWords. They'll have to put out ads on the radio that need scripts. They'll have to make brochures for business to consumer sales. They'll also have to make brochures for business to business sales. They'll have to make brochures for each and every different one of their products. They'll have to have forms to fill out for various product lines. They will have to update their Twitter page. They'll have to update their Facebook page. They have to make content for their website. Oh, they're going to have to make an about page for their website. They're going to have to make sure their content is converting. Then they're going to have to make content for each product on their website. Then they're going to have to make sure customers know how to sign up and that, that language is in very clear, plain English. They're gonna have to send customer packets explaining their new policies. They're gonna have to have scripts for their salespeople to follow. They're gonna have to have scripts for their customer support people to follow. They're gonna have to write press releases and the list goes on and on and on and on. So when a company needs all that stuff, they're going to turn to a copywriter. And if they don't already have an in-house copywriter, they will often hire a freelance copywriter. Now, what can we expect as a freelance copywriter? Well, there's a couple different ranges of copywriters. The low-end freelance copywriters I know, they'll make between three and $15,000 per year. And these are people that maybe already have a job and they kind of do it on the side. Or they go on sites like Upwork and kind of get random gigs here and there. And they make a little bit of money and then some money next month and then no money one month. It's just kind of random. These people typically don't take it too seriously and just want a little bit of side income. And that's great. The medium end of freelance copywriters I know makes between $50,000 and $150,000 per year. Now, these are people that actually call themselves copywriter and have a reasonable network of people they work with. This means that they participate in certain groups. They're part of a lot of Facebook groups that talk about copy. They are involved in certain industries that they're familiar with and like and write copy for those people. Just getting a few gigs every quarter that pay decently well can actually make you some good money as a copywriter. Now, this doesn't happen for everyone right away. Just like any business, you have to work at it and build it. Now, the high end of freelance copywriters I know make around $300,000 per year to $2 million per year. Now, is this just by writing copy for clients? No, 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 no. This is a whole different level. This is people that are business owners that are also copywriters or started off as a copywriter and are now a business owner. This means if a product that they write copy for has upside, they're often part of the company and get to enjoy the profits. The other way to parlay a freelance copywriting career into becoming a very highly paid copywriter is kind of do what I do. You become famous for copy. You still do copywriting all the time. You sell copywriting training and you become advisor to a lot of companies that you help. So if any of those companies sell or do really well, you get money. People buy your training all the time, so you get money. And then people employ you for personalized help, so you get money there too. So generally, the higher end of copywriters have multiple streams of income. They're not just on Upwork doing a couple gigs here and there. Just remember, running a freelance copywriting business is still running a business, meaning you have to build it up. Just like if you're a freelance chiropractor or a freelance lawyer, you have to have a network and experience. And if you have no network and not much experience, you're going to get paid crap. If you have a big network and lots of experience, you're going to get paid a lot. So if you're looking to become a copywriter and you've never worked for an agency, you've never worked for some brand name company like amazon.com or Facebook or something like that, and you don't have any experience or any network in this industry at all, then it's likely that you're gonna to have to start from the bottom. However, let's say you already run with like a marketing crowd and you've worked for a big brand name company like Google in their marketing department. 
in that case, if you have that network and that experience, then it's very likely you'll start right off the bat getting paid a decent amount. So let's talk about how to get clients as a freelance copywriter. This is always a popular topic because everyone wants a bunch of big high paying clients, but they're not sure where to go from there. Well, let's assume that you have no network and no experience. How are you going to get some copywriting jobs? Well, the first way is to get small time gigs. And this is, for example, posting on Fiverr that you'll do copywriting for people for a really cheap price, sometimes between five bucks and 15 bucks a piece. You can also go on Craigslist and post yourself as a copywriter for hire, and people will probably shoot you some projects that are relatively low paying. The other way is to go on marketplaces such as Upwork and become a copywriter for hire. The problem with a lot of these marketplaces is that people drop out of them really, really fast because they tend to make a couple of deals here and there with people. And then they realize a lot of the requests they get are trying to either lowball them or for kind of scammy, weird products they don't want to be involved with. Now, none of these options sound super attractive to most people, but you have to realize if you're starting from the bottom, you got to start somewhere. So yes, if you have no network and no experience, then yes, you are going to have to eat some dog shit and work your way to the top. Now, this is where a lot of people quit because they're like, I don't want to write an article for $10. Well, this is where most people get it wrong. A lot of the copywriters that are famous and popular and get big have been writing online for free in multiple ways for years and years and years. They never thought they would get paid for it. They just loved doing it. So they ended up doing it more and more and more. And over time, they started building, building, building. Method number two for getting freelance copywriting gigs, become popular for big companies. Let's say you've worked at Amazon for most of your working career in the marketing department. Well, guess what? There's other companies out there that are big like Amazon that would love your help to grow like Amazon did. So if you start approaching some other companies that are similar, you can start getting some big bucks to help them out. The third method for getting freelance copywriting gigs is becoming popular in a specific niche. A lot of low end copywriters will insist, I can write everything. So hire me for everything you have. But in reality, they should be niching down when they first start. For example, if you worked with a big health company and did a lot of writing for them, you should call yourself a copywriter that specializes in the health space because you clearly have that skill. It's oftentimes very lucrative to take your past work experience and parlay it into your freelance writing career. Let's say you were a paralegal for 13 years. Well, you can do law stuff way better than someone who's not involved in the law field at all. Therefore, if you position yourself as a copywriter, say one of your specialties is law stuff and that you've had 13 years of paralegal experience, you are far more likely to be hired for legal stuff than someone who's not been in the law field for that long. The fourth method of getting freelance gigs is first becoming popular in the copywriting community. Now, there's multiple ways to do this and it's usually very slow. However, in the long run, you could slowly build to become an authority figure in copywriting. This means you'll have to be part of groups. You'll have to participate. You'll have to go to conferences involving copywriting. You will also have to write articles. This is pretty key nowadays because that's how you get attention. However, I will tell you about one shortcut to building authority, and that is having applied copywriting to a previous business that you have run yourself. When people just call themselves a copywriter, people are always skeptical of them to come in and help their business because they're like, well, they've never run a business before, so why should I listen to their advice? However, if you have run a business before and successfully implemented content and copy on it, people very much respect you much more as a business owner. This is how I personally got a little bit of footing in the copywriting world because I actually came from the e-commerce world before I even knew what copywriting was. And I was part of several businesses that I successfully did all the copywriting for before I ever called myself a copywriter. This made people take me much more seriously in the copywriting world because they'd already had the success under my belt. That is a real big cheat sheet and way to step forward in the world by having had already have a business that you applied copywriting to. So now that we've talked about becoming a copywriter and some of the things to look for and some of the things to avoid, in this next video, I'm going to talk about how to actually get your very first freelance copywriting gig.